In this video, I will discuss Algomerative Hierarchical Clustering Algorithm with the complete linkage. In this case, we have been given one dimensional data set with values 1, 5, 8, 10 and 2. We need to use Algomerative Clustering Algorithm with the complete linkage along with the Euclidean distance and then we need to form the clusters over here. At the same time, we need to identify how many number of clusters we will get if we set the threshold as 5 in this particular case. Now, if you want to use uh, algorithmative hierarchical clustering algorithm, the very first thing uh, what is required is uh, we need to identify the, the distance between the data points over here. In this case, we have been asked to use Euclidean distance formula. Let us assume that uh, there are two points, uh, P1 is uh, containing x1, y1 and P2 containing x2, y2. The distance between those two points is always given by the square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square in this case. But because we have been given the one dimensional data set, the Euclidean distance will become square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square over here. Now to find that particular distance uh, uh, for from uh, this one dimensional data set to the same data set, I will write that particular number, whatever the number is there on the column headers as well as on this particular row headers over here. And then we will try to calculate these particular distances in this case. Now if you look at this particular distance 0, that is square root of 0 minus 1 minus 1 bracket square that is 1 minus 1 bracket square that is nothing but 0 here. Similarly, if you want to calculate this particular 4, square root of x2 is 5 here, x1 is 1, 5 minus 1 bracket square that is nothing but 4 here. Similarly, this 7 that is square root of uh, 8 minus 1 bracket square, square square will get, uh, square root will get cancelled, we will let, left with the 7 here. Similarly, we can calculate 9, 1 and so on. So all these particular distances are calculated using this particular formula here. Now once you calculate this particular distances, actually I should write the column number and row numbers over here. Just for understanding purpose, I have written this particular actual data over here. So I will replace this particular actual data with the column numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the column numbers and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the row numbers. These are the distances what we have calculated right now. Now coming back to the next part of our discussion. What we do over here is uh, whenever we want to apply algorithmative hierarchical clustering algorithm, given this particular distances, we will try to identify the minimum distance. And if you look at this particular uh, matrix, this is the minimum distance what we can notice that is between 1,5 or you can say that 5,1 that is the minimum distance. Now what we do over here is because uh, the 1,5 is having the minimum distance, we will club this particular 1,5 into one cluster and the distance till here is 1 in this particular case. Now once you group that particular thing, uh, the next question comes in front of us is, uh, we have to calculate the distance from 1,5 to 2, 1,5 to 3, 1,5 to 4 because we don't know the distance from 1,5 to 2, 1,5 to 3, 1,5 to 4 here. So what we do over here is, here we will apply the complete linkage formula. That is, uh, we will try to find out the distance between 2, 1,5 or you can say that 1,5, 2 over here. So, both are uh, reflexive in one, one another. So, that's the reason we will calculate one uh, for, uh, distance over here. That is always equal to maximum of uh, d, 2, 1, d, 2, 5. That is 2, 1 and 2, 5. What is distance between uh, 2, 1? The distance between 2 comma 1 is equal to 4, distance between 2 comma 5 is equal to 3, the maximum between these two is equal to 4 over here. That is nothing but distance between 2 comma 1 comma 5 is equal to 4. Similarly, the distance between 1 comma 5 comma 2 is also equal to 4 over here. Similarly, we will calculate the distance uh, from uh, 3 to 1 comma 5, 1 comma 5 to 3 over here. Again, the same formula we will apply. That's a maximum of uh, D of uh, 3 comma 1. 3 comma 1 is how much? That is 7. I have written it here. Comma D of uh, 3 comma 5. 3 comma 5 is 6. That is 6 is written here. And the maximum between these two is 7 over here. Similarly, we will calculate the distance from this 4 to 1 comma 5. That is equal to 9 in this case. Now, uh, what we do over here is uh, we will try to write the modified uh, matrix over here. That will look something like this one, 1, 5 over here, 1, 5 over here. That is nothing but one cluster we have created. Now from 1, 5 to 2, what is the distance we have calculated? That is nothing but 4 here. So that is what I have written here. 1, 5 to 3, what is the distance we have calculated? 7 here. I have written the same thing here. 
1 comma 5 to uh, 4 what is the distance we have that is 9 the same thing will come over here in this particular column that is 2 to 1 comma 5 3 to 1 comma 5 4 to 1 comma 5 here and th these values are already available in that particular matrix we have not modified these things for example uh, 2 to 2 what is the value we have here 0 2 to 3 what is the value we have here 3 and uh, 2 to 5 what is the value we have uh, 2 to 4 actually the value is equal to 5 years uh, that is not modified so we don't worry about these things now once you create this particular modified matrix again we will try to identify the minimum distance in this particular case if you look at this particular matrix carefully this particular distance that is 2 is the minimum distance in this case that is between 3 and 4 over here so because we have that particular minimum distance over here what we will try to do is we will try to club this particular 3 comma 4 into one cluster now once you club that particular uh, 3 comma 4 into one cluster what will left with us is 1 comma 5 2 and this one that is 3 comma 4 is one cluster here again we need to identify what is the distance between uh, 1 comma 5 to 3 comma 4 as well as 2 to what is that called as 3 comma 4 because we already know what is the distance between 1 comma 5 to 2 there is no need to calculate because we have created a new cluster here we need to calculate the distance between 1 comma 5 to 3 comma 4 and 2 comma 3 comma 4 over here so that is done uh, something like this the distance between 1 comma 5 comma 3 comma 4 is equal to the distance between 1 comma 5 comma 3 distance between 1 comma 5 comma 4 over here 1 comma 5 comma 3 is equal to what we have 7 here that is what i have written here 1 comma 5 comma 4 that is 9 i have written here and the maximum between these two is 9 in this case similarly 2 comma 3 comma 4 that is 2 to 3 comma 4 we need to identify distance between uh, 2 to 3 and 2 to 4 we need to identify the distance between 2 to 3 if you notice here 2 to 3 is 3 and 2 to 4 is equal to 5 between these two 5 is the maximum over here now we need to write that particular modified uh, matrix over here so we will get 1 comma 5 2 and 3 comma 4 over here 1 comma 5 2 3 comma 4 over here 1 comma 5 to 1 comma 5 we know this one 0 1 comma 5 to 2 which is already known to us that is 4 i have written it as it is 1 comma 5 to 3 comma 4 we have calculated it here that is equal to 9 i have written it here now 2 to 1 comma 5 is already known to us that is 4 i have written it as it is 2 to 2 is equal to 0 2 to 5 is equal to uh, not 2 to 5 2 to 3 comma 4 we have calculated it that is nothing but 5 we have already written it here now 3 comma 4 to 1 comma 5 that is reflexive in nature so uh, 1 comma 5 to 3 comma 4 and 3 comma 4 to 1 comma 5 both are one another same so that is nothing but 9 here i have written it here 3 comma 4 to 2 that we have already calculated and i have written it here 3 comma 4 to 3 comma 4 is equal to 0 here so now we have written this particular modified matrix now we need to check which is the minimum distance from this particular thing and if you look at this particular matrix again carefully the 4 is the minimum distance now what we need to do is we need to club this particular 1 comma 5 uh, comma 2 over here this will be one cluster and another cluster will be 3 comma 4 here now once you combine this particular thing we need to identify the distance from 1 comma 5 comma 2 to 3 comma 4 here so if you club this particular thing and if you want to identify the distance between these two things we need to check what is the maximum between these two that is what we have done over here so what is the maximum between 4 comma uh, 9 9 is the maximum over here so that's the reason the distance from 1 comma 5 comma 2 to 3 comma 4 is equal to 9 in this case so that is what uh, i have written in this particular case so this is the first cluster and second cluster from this particular thing to this one if you notice here between these two which is the maximum 9 is the maximum so that is what i will write here and the reflective value is written over here so this is what actually the, the next matrix what we got and what is the distance right now the distance is 4 here the first time when we uh, clubbed 1 comma 5 the distance was uh, 1 when we clubbed 3 comma 4 the distance was 2 when we club uh, 1 comma 5 comma 2 the distance is 4 here now when you combine these two things that is 1 comma 5 comma 2 that's the first cluster and 3 comma 4 that's the second cluster the distance will become 9 in this particular case now once you merge all this particular thing uh, we, the dendrogram looks something like this that is when i have combined this particular 1 comma 5 the distance was 1 so that's the reason we have to keep this particular thing up to here and when i have combined 3 comma 4 the distance was 2 so i have to keep it up to here and when i have combined 1 comma 5 and 2 the distance was 4 so that is the reason i have kept it here 
and when I combine these two things that is 1 comma 5 comma 2 and 3 comma 4 the distance was 9 here I think you can notice that particular thing and previously it was 4 previously if you go back and see this one it was uh, 2 here and previously if you go back and see the minimum distance that was 1 over here so that is the reason based on those particular values what we do here is we will create this particular dendrogram here it is 1 it is 2 it is uh, 4 here and here it will be 9 in this particular case now based on uh, the threshold whatever has been set we will get some different uh, clusters over here for example if the threshold is set to 9 we will get one cluster that is 1 5 2 3 4 this is the only one cluster we will get if the distance is 9 if the distance is set from uh, 4 or greater than 4 and less than 9 any number for example 6 5 or any number let us say that 5 is there so how many clusters we will get so this side we will get one cluster this will be one cluster here and this will be another cluster over here that is uh, 1 comma 5 comma 2 and 3 comma 4 is the another cluster in this video, I have discussed how can we apply algorithmative hierarchical clustering algorithm with complete linkage to group the different uh, given data into different clusters. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.